Whether you be a gamer, day trader, or just someone working from home, we all need a great place to rest our tush when staring at a screen for hours on end. Today we'll be taking a look at the Heel Gen 8204, which as a gaming chair promises comfort and performance for more than just you gamers. <laughs> any further, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. That said, let's break into this chair. It cost $149.99, normal MSRP is $229.99. On the Van Bow Chair website, there are four different options for the Heel Gen 8204. It comes in a mysterious black, snow white, adventure red, and natural gray. And that's what we got right here. This chair weighs in at 51.58 pounds, very specific, and has a gross weight ugh, of 58.42 pounds. So if you're lugging this package down your stairs, you may want to do a team lift. While this chair weighs 58 pounds, it is rated for up to 350 pounds, and it's recommended for people that are height between 5'8 and 6'1. I'm only 5'11 in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> As expected, and as you can imagine, there is some assembly required. I doubt this will just fold right onto the box exactly how I need it, but that would be nice. And the other chair that we put together, it took a long time. Hopefully this doesn't take that long. First up, some protective wrapping. That's gonna go up to the side. We're gonna whip out the back. On the back. Heel Gen Gaming, nice embroidered. Let's take it out of the plastic wrapping. Is this a built in massage? We will set the back right here. Got it. This is where your tush goes. Oh, good thing I've been working out. And on the bottom, there are a lot of bolts that I assume I will have to take out and put back in. One of these is a headrest and the other is like a, a lumbar support. Oh, this is definitely a headrest. There we go. Whatever. And then this little leg rest thing. This thing. The base that connects to the butt part of the chair. Now, it does go up and down. Armrest. Ooh, this thing. And a box of hardware. I believe it does come with all the necessary tools for assembly. So you don't have to go out and buy a tool kit to put that together. Nice. These are the brackets for connecting the back and the seat portion. This chair does recline from 90 to, I believe, 150 degrees. So you can lounge back while gaming, or in between games, I should say. Wheels, so this can roll across your hardwood floors. The adjustable base, so going up and down. A power connector for the massage functionality, and then some plastic covers. Why are there gloves? Sweet. And directions. Step one, turn the star base upside down and press the casters into the holes at the end of each base leg. That I'm qualified for. The five casters. Step two, turn the star base upright and insert the lift into the center of the hole of the star base. Lift cover should be placed over the lift. Got it. Lift cover. Remove all the M825 millimeter bolts from the seat and back. I don't know why they put these in here already. They not include the There's got to be somewhere. Come on. Don't do this to me. Ah, they didn't include the There's 
Sponsoid. Now that all the bolts are out, I assume that means bolts have to go back in. Wonderful. At this point, attach the arms to the seat cushions with your four M825. Oh, we're gonna say this is right. Two, done. Other side. Insert the footrest to the pre drilled holes underneath the seat cushion, then put the rubber rings at the end of the hole. Oh. We're going to see it goes this way. That's interesting. Ah. Like a little ponytail. So I'm just supposed to. Push this on. Um, okay, whatever you say, directions, I guess I will. <laughs> Is this a secure connection? <laughs> okay, not quite sure how that worked. Using adjusters to attach. Okay. Nope, don't go that way. I assume it's this way. Or. Definitely that way. What'd you do on your Saturday night? Well, I put together a chair. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, dang it, I put the bolts on. Kidding. Okay, now that we got back attached, time to put on some safety things. These. Why is this the hardest part? Fine. Attach the plastic cover, yada yada. It's a lumbar support. There we go. And after 35 minutes or so, I've completed assembly of the Heel Gen A204. I'm happy to be sitting. I'm not meant to sit like that for long periods of time, so this is really some relief. First off, though, we gotta 
get this back a little. Woo! All right, so for adjustments on the side, there is a lever that allows me to recline the back of the seat. Oh, I feel like I'm going, but I didn't. I have bad posture, so we're gonna put it there. Notice how I can spin 360 degrees and also roll around if I'm not on carpet. The armrests, they have multiple adjustments. They can go up and down as well as side to side. So if you have your keyboard hand one way and you need, I don't know. Either way, they go like this and then they go up and down. In addition, if you ever want to take a nap mid game, pull out your leg rest, which then flips out like so. I don't know how much I'll be using that, but not gonna lie, this is pretty comfy, especially with the neck pillow, which provides ample support. You do this, you turn to the side, you put down your beverage, and you think, man, time to take a quick nap in between games, and you can do that. Believe it or not, this chair actually can get even more relaxing. It does have massage built in, which there is a cord that goes to USB cable, and if my handy dandy assistant can throw me, I can plug in and test out the massaging feature. There are some buttons on the side, which I admit are not the easiest to reach, but interesting. Gotta film a video. Yep, yep, yep. So from a comfort perspective, I am very satisfied with this chair. The pleather, or PU leather, whatever you want to call it. Pretty decent, looks nice. I like the way that they constructed the chair. I will say that they did allow for some variance in the actual setup process for like differences in manufacturing. So you have to make sure you align the bolts. Uh, the longest part to actually install were these plastic covers because it it was very difficult for me to figure out where the screw hole was when trying to hold it on there. Overall, pretty straightforward. They include all the necessary tools, and I'm not really sure what you need the gloves for, but you get a set of gloves, which is kind of nice. Other than that, I forgot to mention this does go up and down, which I have to test. Huh. It airs all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. So not a lot of adjustability there, but if you're sitting at a normal desk, I don't think you should have any troubles with this chair working for you. Future me, talking to previous me, also forgot to mention, in addition to the leather, the embroidery, pretty sick too. Here, here. I'm around 5'11", weigh around 200 pounds. So if you're around that same size, this is probably a good chair for you. Again, it is rated up to 300 pounds and they do recommend anyone who is between 5'8 and 6'1 for this chair. If you'd like to purchase it, you can do so via the link in the description below for the $149. At least that's what it's on sale for now. Normal MSRP is $229.99. You are getting a pretty good chair, in my opinion. Uh, the office chair I'm using now, I got for free, so this will be quite the upgrade. And if you do have any questions on it as it ages and I use it for day-to-day -day work or gaming, etc., please ask those in the comment section below. That's all I have for today, folks. Thanks for sticking around for this unboxing, setup, and review of the Heel Gen 8204 from Bamboo Chairs. We hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like on the video if you did. Or if you didn't like it, dislikes are okay too. Just let us know what you didn't like in the comment section as well so we can get better and better with each video. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Burn out.